All right, guys, I'm learning slowly but surely. Some of you guys like Fords, some like Chevrolets, and we got guys out there that actually like Peugeots. So for those of you who are devotees of HPC gear, this is some of their top drawer stuff. This is new uh, PIP 2000, and instead of spring steel, this one is made out of stainless steel. Just went up for sale on lockpicks.com. I'll put the link down in the description for $89.95. So stick around, let's take a look at these picks. And I'll tell you how to get 15% off of that. All right, guys, I don't know if I mentioned it, but the case is actually genuine leather. Pretty nice, pretty plush to hold all of this stuff. Um, let's start over here. It might be hard to see black against black, but uh, the first thing I noticed, we get two uh, L-shaped bottom of the keyway tensioners. These are both twisted, and they come in two different thicknesses what I would call the medium and the thick, and that, that'll fit the majority of the locks. Everything but the smallest of locks ought to be able to fit one of those two. And then we get one tensioner that's kind of a standoff called the flower, a little extra standoff in case you got a doorknob or a thumb turn or something like that. Uh, you're not going to be banging into it with a tension wrench. So you three bottom of the keyway tensioners. But we're really interested in these picks, so let's take a closer look at these guys. Um, these are all top drawer from HPC. It's stainless steel, 20 thousandths in thickness. Uh, even the handles, these la are laminated on here, they are also stainless steel. I did feel for sharp edges on all of these. I didn't find anything. These have been tumbled pretty nicely. And when you look closely, I'm going to show you the bottom of this pick. It looks like these are chemically etched instead of machine cut or punched, not laser cut. So. Out of the box, these are probably okay to use. I didn't have any trouble. I didn't refinish any of them. I'm trying to get the camera to zoom just so you can see. There's just a tiny little edge there, but not bad at all. I mean, it's not sharp. And by the way, that's from a cat, not from a pick. Uh, we have a DeForest Diamond, one of my favorites. So I would consider that to fall into the deep hook category. Uh, we also have a DeForest Ball. Same level of depth as DeForest Diamond, but this is really finer tip. So if you're going after smaller pins like you'd find in some European and Chinese locks, American locks, or um, master locks, this might be the one to reach for. The last hook is what I would categorize as a deep hook. So again, I, I would think that these are two deep hooks. So just first mod, I think, is in the process of you know giving these a lick with some sandpaper to round them off. I might go ahead and just take a little bit off of that tip to turn this into a medium hook. Give myself a little bit of variation in depth on my three hooks. Now we're going to move into the, we have six different rakes. This first one, of course, is just a standard ball. And I do know the name for this one. This is really for wafer locks. Double-sided, so you, if you have double-sided wafer locks, you can slide it in there, rake the top, rake the bottom, rake the top, just alternate. Uh, it's kind of nice having a double-sided. You don't have to pull it out, flip it over, and slide it in again. So save you some time with a, with the ball against those double wafers. These next ones I don't know the name for. These next three. These are proprietary picks from HPC. And this is kind of a feathered style finish. Kind of weird. Anybody knows the name? <laughs> Put it in the comments. Um, what I do notice is in the back, the frequency is different than in the front, but the depth is about the same along the entire length of the pick. I would imagine you could put it and try it this way. If it doesn't work, you could flip it over and try it the other way. Just variation in uh, in bidding, just to try it out. The lock doesn't really care. Uh, the lock just knows you got some kind of rake in there. This guy looks a lot like a Bogota. I mean, we have triple peaks there, but let me put a Bogota up here for comparison. Balance that right there. It's a pretty small pick. So when you compare it to the frequency and the depth of the Bogota, it's a little bit smaller. It's about half scale, I would say, compared to a standard Raimondo masterpiece. And this last one, again, it's about the same frequency of that previous pick, a little bit finer, and a little variation of frequency out here on the end. Again, the lock really doesn't care that much. All it knows is you've got some kind of rake in there. Uh, these next two are almost identical. They are both snake rakes. The only ch thing that changes is one of them has a slightly different upward angle. Um, I would consider them almost duplicates, but since it's going to be probably about the most frequently used rake that comes in this kit, I would consider one of these to be an extra, even though they're not exactly the same. 
These last four are not actually picks. These are all extractors. And I would have to say that whoever designs uh, HPC's pick kits, at one point in their life, they probably had a lot of trouble with broken off keys because they really give you a lot of options here. Again, very narrow shaft. These are not picks at all. They're designed to go in there and just that sharp, sharp tip, just dig into the soft metal of the key and drag it from the depths of the keyway. Get it out of there so you can then pick it and make another key for it. You get a single barb and double barb, and these both angle upwards. And then he has two brothers here, almost the same, single and a double, except these angle in the opposite direction. Again, just to give you options. So if you've come across a broken key and you got an HPC kit, you got a lot of different ways to attack it. All right, that is the PIP 2000, $89.95 from lockpicks.com. You can get it now for 15% off by using the code LAB2000. I'll put that in the description so you don't have to remember it or carve it in your arm with a pocket knife. Uh, that brings it down to $76.50. They didn't say how long the sale is going to go on for, but uh, get it while you can. Um... How would I make this kit better? All right, this is just for the giveaway. Um, looking at the, at the hooks, um, I like a lot of different hooks. And basically, you have three deep hooks here. I would turn that last one into a medium hook because it's really easy to do. Now you're going to need a short hook. I don't have a short hook to give away today. I do have a, an Attila from Sparrows. So that'll fulfill the short hook gap is what I'm going to consider it. You got a great selection of rakes here, six different rakes, but I'm going to give away some rakes simply because I can. Uh, I showed you the Bogota already. It's got a slightly different frequency than anything offered. It might get into some locks that those don't, so he's going to go. And he's got a brother also from uh, Sparrows. This is called the Worm. It's the same frequency as as the uh, Triple Peak or Bogota, except he's kind of smashed down to get into shorter keyways. I'm gonna throw that in there. And lastly, always do this. Do this right. Um, only bottom of the keyway. It would be really cool to have some top of the keyway stuff. I'm gonna throw in a complete five top of the keyway kit from Sparrows. And all of that will fit very nicely into this genuine leather case of the PIP 2000. All right, guys. You want to get this? All you got to do, let me move this down. Go there. Register to win. Maybe next Saturday you'll be a lucky name drawn to uh, get this PIP 2000. Let's, I'm getting a little bit of rush because I'm trying to keep the video at a reasonable length, and I still want to give away a bunch of stuff. So let me just slide him up here out of the way, and let's get the, do the first giveaway. It's going to be... A brand new Ranger pick set from Sparrows. I reviewed this a while back. These are still a little bit hard to get. I managed to get a hold of one. Let me see if I can get the zipper to work. And brand new. Absolutely brand new. This one is going out to randomly chosen name is Bass Van Dien. Bass, I'm going to send you an email. Respond to the email with your address and I will get this in the mail to you. The next item is going to be items, plural. First of all, a learnlockpicking.com training lock. This is the Ultimate Challenge Lock, which is a six-cylinder training lock. Uh, this is brand new. These are all threaded, ready to go progressively. So pin up the first couple. Once you learn that, you can keep pinning until you conquer all six of them. So you get the, the training lock, a bag of different kinds of security pins, repair parts, extra plugs, a wrench, all kinds of cool stuff in there. And then if you want to pin up the key... The, the pins necessary to fit the bidding on this key, plus all the plugs and springs are in this little bag. Get all of that. And lastly, with this comes the also the brand new Sparrows um, Master Key Training Kit. Teach you a little bit about master keying. Uh, just reviewed this a uh, couple of days ago. You get the keys, you get all the pins, and most importantly, you get all the codes to make this little kit work with this, believe it or not. Anyway, fellas, there you go. The giveaways plus the PIP 2000. Appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal.